All right, so I've been putting together this snap-on box, and I want to show you the Milwaukee drawer. This is mostly M12 stuff. There is M18 batteries in here. My M18 tools are much larger than can fit in this drawer, so I just don't put those in here. Uh, I got a extra battery, so I haven't taken this one out of the package yet. It came with, uh, this is a 2.5, it came with this ratchet uh, with a deal online. And this is the 3 8 extended high speed, uh, so I can get a little bit further into space, uh, darker, <laughs> deeper spaces with this one. And this one's still a really good ratchet. I really like this one. I used it for years. Uh, nothing wrong with that one at all. I'll still continue to use it. Honestly, um, a lot of times when you're working on cars, you need multiple different sizes of things. So I'll probably load like a 10 millimeter on this one and a 12 or a 14 on this one and go at it like that. All right, so starting from the top here, uh, this is their oscillating tool. This is a really good tool. I use this quite a bit. Uh, I don't do a whole lot of like home or wood type stuff in general, so I don't get a ton of use out of that. And I don't use it much with cars, but that's mostly, you know, I'm doing mostly car repairs in my garage. Uh, but it is a nice tool to have around and same thing with this hacksaw. I haven't done a whole lot automotive with it uh, I'm I try to do a little bit more accurate work than that But I have used this to uh, chop up like roots that uh, when you're digging a hole and you get uh, Against a huge root or something you got to break that thing out with a blade on it and start whacking away This thing is probably my most used M8, uh, M12 tool. This is the stubby uh 3 8 stubby and as you can see it gets quite a quite a bit of a workout uh this fits into a ton of spots has tons of power uh and really if if you're working on most vehicles uh you can get lug nuts and all the stuff off with that thing uh, if you're working on heavy equipment you're, you're gonna want something more than a stubby this is their impact driver i've had this for a few years i've beaten the absolute snot out of it i've built some massive decks uh, during the summertime with it. Uh, I've done automotive work with it. I've built a fence with it uh, It has just taken a pounding love that thing. I don't do a whole lot of drill work But when I do uh, obviously you can see this one's been used uh, I had to use this quite a bit when I was doing that same uh, deck project So I did a quite a bit of work out then but I haven't done a whole lot with it since uh, This is one of my favorite tools. This is a flashlight and it's magnetic uh, so you can see it sticks to things and it's really nice to have uh, I'll show you when I work with it I stand it up like this a lot of the time. Holy cow. Let me there we go uh, I stand it up a lot like that. Uh, you can twist the light back and forth uh, Or you can lay it down like that. It's really helpful under a car if you're doing that Sometimes I even film with this thing for some extra light. I'll have it above me like that if that's helpful Let me know might create a shadow. Hey, right, we'll do the rest of the video with that light, like that, and uh, let me know if um, you'd rather have the light that way. See how the camera reacts. This is the uh, die grinder, the right angle die grinder. This gets a ton of work. Uh, anything you need a die grinder for, this is amazing. Uh, you don't have to drag the hose around. Uh, M18 batteries. Here's a little hack I like to use. Uh, I put the year that I bought them on there because that is when the warranty starts. Uh, let's see, I probably don't need to charge anything. Uh, I've got a six amp and a four amp, and then the smaller ones, you can see I still write the dates on those. Uh, they're getting a little older, so that says 20. Um, this is a two amp, and this is another probably two amp, yep. And this is the drill bits. I've used the Shockwave, oh, and they're upside down. Let's do that. Nope, that doesn't work for me. All right, these are the uh, uh, Shockwave titaniums. I don't use those a ton. This is the Shockwave uh, Impact Duty uh, bit set. I've used that a lot. I'm sure tons of them are missing. And the black oxide bits, these are what I use most when I'm drilling stuff. Uh, they just seem to work better than the titanium ones do. Uh, so that's it for my M18, M12 drawer, uh, mostly M12. Uh, we'll see if it stays this way. Uh, it's doubtful. I probably have a, a different idea in a week, and I'll record a video about that too.